I'm going to be showing you how to complete the Corrupted Grandmaster Nightfall through a Bosch cheese so you can also get exotics, masterwork materials and the Nightfall weapon fast. The loadout that I'd recommend to use is Arbalest with a Scout Rifle of your choice and this could be the trusty Scout Rifle or even the Eternal Blazing Scout Rifle. With these weapons you can definitely use a Linear Fusion Rifle such as the Storm Chaser. Another great loadout is a Nightwatch Scout Rifle with Divinity and Storm Chaser and if you're a Hunter the best subclass is Mobius Quiver with Omni Oculus, Trapper's Ambush and Vanishing Step. If you're a Warlock you can use a Well with Phoenix Protocol combined with Icarus Dash and the Touch of Flame. And if you're a Titan, you can use the Ward of Dawn with the Heart of Inmost Light as well as Bastion and Control Demolition. And for the Elevator Room, I would recommend to use multiple Relics before starting. But for the boss fight itself, you should definitely start off by hiding behind the large crystals on the right for a few seconds. Then you can go back to the platform behind you and you can do this without saying joining allies on your screen. From here, kill all the adds while staying in cover from the rocks. And once everything is dead, you can go invisible to pick up the Relic and the Relic will be on the left. And when you're doing enough damage to the boss, she'll teleport and if you do too much, she'll instantly go to the second phase. But you can still manage to kill her in the first phase. And you can do this through the Storm Chaser DPS. But if you don't manage to kill her straight away, you can use an Invis Hunter to carry the relic into the Ascendant Realm. And you'll be able to kill the boss early in the second phase. Also make sure to stay in cover while taking out the Vandals and the Overload Champion. And also make sure to use Divinity to be able to stun the Overload Champion. And you also get a debuff from Divinity, making it easy to kill the the champion. Then make sure to break Sadia's shield with the relic and after that you can use Storm Chaser to quickly defeat the boss. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. Thanks for watching.